Hi everyone, welcome back again for the second segment of this series of uh, segment uh, of uh, presentation about using uh, a spectral imaging uh, technique for quality evaluation of uh, agrofood uh, products. In this uh, session, we are going to, to speak about uh, uh, hyperspectral imaging and the multispectral imaging, and then we will see uh, different configuration, the image acquisition mode of both systems. So, uh, for image acquisition mode for both system, as you see, why we need to acquire this image? Because we need some impression about uh, the amount of light uh, that could be reflected or absorbed or transmitted or emitted from, uh, from my, uh, my food. And then we can interpret this uh, emitted or reflected or transmitted light at specific wavelengths as a spectral signature. And this spectral signature could be used to evaluate the overall quality of uh, my food specimen. So, uh, if we imagine we have three components of uh, the any spectral imaging uh, system, the light here, the light, and then the detector, and the conveyor. This is the, the three main components. So, if we are going to speak about the image acquisition mode, it is a relevant arrangement between the light and the detector. And then, if the light, the, in, in this configuration, if the light and the detector in the same direction, so we call this arrangement as reflectance mode. Uh, if the light uh, and the detector in two opposite direction, that means the light is going to be incident in this direction and the light is received by the detector in the other direction. This mode is called transmitted, transmittance mode. If we put carrier here, barrier, light barrier, to prevent the direct uh, uh, reflectance coming to the detector, and the light and the detector in the same direction, we call this scenario of image acquisition mode as interactance mode. So uh, this is the uh, general view of uh, image acquisition and the image processing protocol from the starting to the end point. So uh, my task is to obtain this kind of image. It's called multispectral or hyperspectral imaging. As you see, it is a 3D image, consists of two dimension, two spatial dimension, and one spectral dimension. How to acquire this kind of image? We have three categories, three uh, methods of acquisition. First method here is called point scan method. I will use my mouse to, to explain how to acquire one image using the point scan method. In this, one, in this way, you need to transfer your, your sample in both direction, in X direction and in Y direction. In, uh, and first of all, you need to acquire uh, the, your spectra in, in one point, and then one point uh, spectra is already collected. Then move to other point, and you have another spectra. And move to another point, you have another spectra, and so on. Then move to other direction, in, in X direction, to the new line, and uh, finally you have line by line, line by line, and finally you have one complete 3D. This is called one point scan, and, and point scan, as you see here, it is very slow to acquire an image using point scan uh, scenario. In line scan, instead of uh, acquiring the spectrum using point by point, we are going to scan the sample line by line. So finally, uh, we need to uh, move the sample in linear direction, in only one direction, and in each uh, movement, we have the spectra of one line, as you see here. And at the end, we have the full uh, data cube in 3D dimension. The third scenario is to acquire here, the third scenario here is to acquire the image in using the whole area, instead of moving the, the sample line, point by point or line by, by line, so we, not, we don't need uh, to move the sample at all. So we need to acquire the sample wavelength by wavelength. So to, uh, to scan the sample wavelength so by wavelength, we need uh, this uh, kind of configuration, it's called filter whale. So the reflected light coming from the sample should go to this filter at certain wavelengths and then received by the camera and then 
finally we have one full uh, 2D dimension at this uh, wavelength. Second step is to move the filter wheel to the new filter and acquire a new uh, 2D image until you, f you finally f finish the filter wheel uh, bands at the end you have the final 3D data cube. So uh, if we need to summarize uh, the difference between the color imaging and the uh, multispectral imaging and the hyperspectral imaging. For color imaging, we have only, we have uh, the, the image at only three bands, the red, green, and blue. And in multispectral imaging, as you see here, we have the information coming from few discrete wavelengths. As you see here, it is only maybe less than 20 uh, wavelengths, but we don't have a full spectrum. If you need to obtain full spectrum of your sample, so you need to use hyperspectral imaging that can help you to acquire images at uh, narrow spectral bands. And at the end, as you see here, you have a full spectrum like that, like that curve. So, uh, if you look to the gray image, there's only one band. Three, uh, the color image, three bands. For multispectral imaging, it is a uh, several bands. And finally, hyperspectral imaging, you have a lot of bands. This session is finished. We are going to continue our presentation in the next session. See you.